What's up guys? It's Kim again from Yigitech. Just when you thought Realme stopped with its Realme 2 series, the company has also released a new entry-level smartphone called the C1 here in Jakarta. And here is our first look. Honestly, the C1 doesn't feel like an entry-level smartphone due to its build quality and overall look, as it is quite similar to the Realme 2 Pro as well as the Oppo A3s. It has the same metallic side finish, which gives a better grip, making it comfortable to hold even when you have small hands. Up front, we have a 6.2-inch 720p display, and it's actually not that bad. It also has a notch, just like the Realme 2. There's the power and lock button on the right, while the volume keys and triple card tray are located on the left side. Down below is a 3.5mm audio port, the good old micro USB port, and the speaker grills. But despite having a micro USB port, this phone carries a large 4230 mAh battery. Realme has already started to call this phone as a game king, as it's said to give you 10 hours of gaming experience, 18 hours of music playback while connected to Wi-Fi, and up to 15 hours of video playback. Sounds sick, right? But we're gonna have to test that out ourselves to see if it's the real deal. Now looking at its back, you can tell that it looks so much like the Oppo A3s with its glossy back and the lack of a fingerprint scanner. So for security, you're getting AI face unlock, which by the way, is surprisingly fast. For photography, you're getting a dual rear camera setup consisting of 13 megapixel plus 2 megapixel sensors and a 5 megapixel camera for selfies, which gives an idea of the company's direction with this phone. Probably not selfie-centric. We haven't fully tested out its capabilities, but during our time with it, photos came out decent for an entry-level smartphone. Powering the C1 is the old but capable Qualcomm Snapdragon 450, 2GB of RAM, and 16GB of internal storage. You can expand this via micro SD up to 256 gigabytes. Not bad. And finally for software, it's running on Color OS 5.1 based on Android 8.1 Oreo. This phone is priced at 1,499,000 Indonesian rupiah, which is around 5,000 pesos. And there you have it guys, what do you think of the Realme C1? Is it the new entry level king or what? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, if you like this video, you know where the thumbs up button is. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of our future uploads. And be sure to visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Kim and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!